Hello everyone, my name is Tevin Mugai and I will be your host and I am joined by Stacy Wanjeri. How are you Stacy? I'm good thanks. Hi Tevin. I'm very fine. Coming from On Air Studios, this is Inside, Inside Spec. Spec, where we uh, discover the latest technologies we bring to you insights on um, updated softwares, we give you recommendations on all technology products that you should have in your offices, at your houses, and everywhere you go, even outdoor, you know, funky things, you know, like uh, road, road trips. And uh, Tavin, what do you have in store for us today? Well, there's been a very spicy information mm -hmm. that has been coming out throughout the week mm -hmm. um, we have a few updates we have a new phone from xiaomi and i think that's where i'll start from mm -hmm. xiaomi has just released a new phone uh, it's, it's going to be out in the market in august but uh, they've put out the specs the latest renders of how it's going to look are out there so it's called the xiaomi mi mix 4 mm -hmm. and this is going to be the first xiaomi phone with under screen camera technology Wow. And this is a big step for Xiaomi because, mm -hmm. as you've seen, their other phones are also really good. This phone will go for about $928. Wow, $928. Yeah, yeah. That's around how much? 93,000 Kenyan shillings. 93,000 Kenyan shillings mm -hmm. if you remove tax and whatever. Yeah? Quite pricey. Yeah, it's very pricey. Mm -hmm. So um, basically, uh, this phone is going to be optimized to have great camera output. Mm -hmm. They have decided to go with a screen from Huasing Opto Electronics. Mm -hmm. It's a Chinese company that deals with screen panels. So um, this screen will only be able to go up to 1080p, which is unavoidable because what Xiaomi want, they want great camera output and less screen detail so that you can be able to get crisp and clean pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, this phone will also be uh, will also come with 120 watts uh, wired charger mm -hmm. and 70 watts wireless charger and then featuring a 5000 milliamp battery. And in general, the scope of it, um, they say that this phone will be uh, curved. It will have a curved screen, so it will be, the, it's usually called the waterfall, a waterfall design. Uh -huh. So the curved screen gives it the effect of uh, the phone is continuous. They narrow the edges uh -huh. and uh, that will just make the phone more beautiful in general. And funky, I mean it looks delicate. So delicate is related to expensive yes, things, you know, yes, like class, yes. bougie. Yes, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So other than that, uh, if you haven't been hearing, there's the update that has come through on most Android devices. Mm -hmm. It's the Android 11 update. Mm. And so Android, Android 11 has taken its wings and has, has been put out on all these devices. Mm -hmm. I personally own an Oppo device, mm -hmm. and this Oppo device has been given uh, an upgrade of 13 GB RAM. They have used the internal storage to be able to uh, boost up your RAM. This only makes the phone faster. Yours previously got what? Uh, mine got a uh, 5 GB boost. So it was 8 ah, GB and now 13. it's 13 GB. Ooh, so a, you can yeah. play around with how much GB you actually want to use. You uh -huh. can use 2, 3 or 5 GB. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a really, I was really excited when this update came. But on that same topic, the, the company that is always battling with Android is Apple and <laughs> Apple have done iOS iOS 15, which is now their new and latest uh, operating system. Uh -huh. So the operating system comes with a few new features that they've added on. Mm -hmm. uh, they have redesigned stock apps. That's basically Maps, Safari, and just ba the stock apps that are usually found on the iPhone. Mm -hmm. They have been made to look better and more crisp. Mm -hmm. uh, the icons have been largened so that uh, you can you have a nice user interface and you won't complain about not seeing something. So uh, basically, uh, other than redesigning the stock apps, they also added FaceTime features. So mm -hmm. FaceTime now will be able to have spatial audio. So mm -hmm. when you're talking to someone on the screen, mm -hmm. wherever they are oriented on the screen, that's mm -hmm. where their voices will come from. So mm -hmm. in your earphones, if the person is on the left, on the left of the screen, you feel as if the sound is coming from the left side mm -hmm. of your ear. And then on top of that, uh, now FaceTime is able to, you can create a calendar event with, uh, if for example, like if you need uh, a, a certain call to happen at this time, yeah, mm -hmm. you can set it up as an event and then it will be saved on your calendar. <laughs> like, managing time everywhere, yeah, you know, exactly. from meetings exactly. to now FaceTime. Exactly. So uh, uh, um, FaceTime also put on top of that um, new grid view. Mm -hmm. You can have all your audience 
on top of the phone, mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to when you could only have an individual, just one individual ah. who could look at. So now you can, you have all your speakers on the screen. On top of that, they also put portrait mode, mm -hmm. which helps in blurring the background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, when you're sitting down, you know, it's just normal. It looks like normal portrait mode mm -hmm. on your phones or on a camera. Mm -hmm. You get like a book, a bokeh effect. Ah. Yeah, so um, on top of that, they have now live text. Live text uh, comes on most phones, but the thing that Apple did uh -huh. so that it can it can be more better in terms of the way the user is going to use it mm -hmm. is that yes, you grab your text from the gallery or your mm -hmm. photo. It uh, takes the photo of that text, mm -hmm. and then you can be able to cut, paste it, translate it, and even look for suggestions of whatever you have taken a picture of. Oh my god, that really that would really work for for designers. Yeah. Like I'd I'd really want to know if we, you know if it uh, they can be in collaboration with Canva and to see how that works. You know, sometimes because you know you might pick something online, want to de design something close to that. So I think that could really work if they you know worked with Canva as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, there's pen haptics now uh -huh. for better drawing, better writing, mm -hmm. a more immersive experience, and you can voice command. And you can also, and they uh, uh, on top of that, we have split screen technology. Oh. So now you can be able to have one up at the top and one up at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, you know, I, 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 I see like new developments that are coming for, up from that iOS because it will keep on getting updated. Yeah. Um, so that's me. That's what basically I've been uh, looking at. Should we get this phone? Uh, what? Pardon? Should we get this phone? Yes, yes, you should. For ninety-two thousand, yes, can you, you should. You should. Well, we'll see about because, that. Because uh -huh. the way I look at it is that you'll be the first phone from Xiaomi. You know, it, <laughs> you get a certain the most, feeling. It's like the greatest assets from yeah. Xiaomi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are, what else is popping? Uh, I, I personally, I'd like to hear your stories. Like, what what is happening uh, on your side? Well, first of all, I've been listening to the new album by J Cole, and uh, you know, one of my favorite songs is you know Pride, the song that talks about Pride killing, and the way you know, like Pride is you know it can kill careers, it can kill you, like literally, you know, being proud is not a very good thing, and talk Talking of music, there's the, you know, Sonos, the, the audio, the sound the company. Yeah. yeah, so they got into a collaboration, I think, a year ago, not too, not too far uh, ago, but, you know, it's still new because, I mean, it's still in the market, it's popping. Yeah. So IKEA and Sonos got into a collaboration to yeah. come up with, you know, something uh, simple and elegant, you know, how IKEA does their thing, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. So they, they created, um, you know, so the um, Sonos came into the picture to give the, you know, to come with a, the speaker that is compatible or with, you know, IKEA products. So one of the IKEA products that they put together with Sonos is a lamp, a light. So, you know, you can, so it's, it's a light speaker, yeah, yeah. so you can you can have it anywhere. You can have it on your desk when you're studying. Have it in the office, okay. and then of course it's controlled by uh, by an app, and also it's driven by Wi-Fi. So you know you can play it, you know, on Spotify, uh, whatever you know, when whatever online music you're playing. Okay. And okay. then you know, like easy, you can control the bass. Uh, yeah, through the app. Well, no, through yes. the app, yeah. Through okay, the app, you know, okay. if you if you like, uh, you know, soft music, you know, jazz in the office, and you want to chill and focus on work, you can play around with, you know, the the different tweeters and everything. So it's really cool. So you can carry it everywhere, you know. And also, they also have another version of that. So there's the light, the light, the light speaker. They also have like a bookshelf speaker, so you can mount okay. it on the wall, okay. which is also pretty cool because it's 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 it has the capability of. Um, uh, maintaining like certain weights on it so you can have you know like the light succulent flowers you can put it on a wall anywhere you know for you to it looks pretty you know and then you can also have like different speakers you can also connect through the app you know if you're in the bedroom you know and you want to listen to the same music you don't want to have your phone everywhere because you see if your house no matter how big your house is mm -hmm. wi-fi goes everywhere mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so you know you can always listen to that okay uh, does it come with any uh, rating any resistance rating for ip68 ip56 does it come with any for this specific one the symphonics one with the collaboration is like yeah no okay. but uh, we should go on a break right now but i'm going to take you through you know the different the other speaker by sonos that has you know the capabilities the resistance capabilities after this break
Back, um, Tevin, you know, it, was it last week or the other week when people went to, when we had the safari rally in Naivasha? It was uh, last, I think two weeks ago. No, a week ago. A week ago, a week right? Ago, yeah. So it was buzz, you know, everyone was talking about that, but, you know, the, the Naivasha, the safari rally. And what came to mind, in uh, you know, like it's, it's going to be a road trip. So what do you, what, what are the most important things you carry on a road trip? Uh, I personally would have a speaker with uh -huh, me, um, uh -huh. you know, like the refreshments and <laughs> anything that you need. And and obviously your phone, your phone, your yeah. phone also, yeah. Super and deep and of course music. I love music. Yeah. I, I I really love uh, good music. I'm, I'm a hip hop fan, you know, and I like, you know, like very heavy, uh, you know, like hip hop and, and, and um, you know, like music that is deep. That is what I like. Okay. So when I'm traveling anywhere or I'm going for a hike, I like to travel with a speaker. So there's this speaker by Sonos. Okay. It's called Sonos Move. Okay. It's really, really nice. It's, um, I can, if I want to compare it with JBL, because I've always been a fan of JBL, I kind of feel like I might change the brand to go to Sonos Move because this is why. So it's uh, it's portable. So it comes with a sliding, with a sliding holder. So you can carry, carry it uh, with a sliding holder. It's not very heavy around three kilos so you can carry it in your backpack when you're going to school or when you're hiking or you can carry it in your handbag if you're going to work or you know you can proxy it if your laptop bag is too big that yeah. can fit yeah. you can proxy it in there and uh, you know talking about the resistance before we went for a break so it has waterproof re resistance um it also has snow resistance it also ha you ca it can be resistant to um high you know high temperatures you know the suv wow. suv lights okay. so it, it's okay. it's pretty amazing so you can carry it everywhere if you're going to nanyuki sometimes nanyuki gets really hot and yeah. you're worried about you know everything but the disadva disadvantage of of you know making it uh, exposing it to water a lot because it's covered with a, a wire mesh yeah, yeah so yeah. you know you have to clean it up uh, as soon as i uh, after maybe the rain maybe it was an accident it was raining so that you avoid yeah, yeah you avoid okay. rusting okay. and okay. um okay. It's, you, it comes also with voice assistance, you know, like Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant. Okay. You can okay. also connect it via Bluetooth, which yeah. I like. You can, it ha gives you two options of connecting via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, you can yeah, always yeah. have, if you're, if, if you're, you know, like if you don't want to carry your phone around or, you know, like you're not in vicinity. Or if you come to, you know, somewhere, if you mm -hmm. were meeting and then you have a dog playlist and, you, you know, you don't have to be limited. I can always play it online through Wi-Fi and connect in and enjoy the music. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, uh -huh. What about Bluetooth? Does it uh, d use any Bluetooth technology on top of that? Mm, so it's you can connect via Bluetooth. You see, for me, me, I, I want to call myself old school a bit because mm. every time I used to hear about you know uh, uh, speakers, I actually call them Bluetooth speaker. I never used to call them yeah, portable same, same speakers. Here, here, so yeah. it's interesting that it's no. I, I'm erasing that uh, ability. You know that in my mind, calling it a Bluetooth speaker because now Sonos Move has the capabilities of yes, Bluetooth and speaker and 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 Wi-Fi, and, uh, and, wi yes, yes. and also you can control it uh, on you know on, on the app you know because it's sonos or you can control the the tutors and the base and everything on the app which is really cool and then it has on the top it has like a touchpad where you can control you can play you can pause okay. and then at the back of it where the holder is you, you have like two buttons so you can switch to wi-fi connectivity or uh bluetooth connectivity and guess what else now that we're talking about Wi-Fi, it has the capability to withstand 5G. Because, you know, 5G routers are becoming popular yeah, right now. 5G is the big thing right now. Yeah, yeah. so it, it has the capabilities of uh, having, like, uh, 5G. And what I like also about it is its charging system. Okay. So you can charge it using the USB-C, and you can, it also comes with a, with a, with a charger deck. Okay. So if you're connecting it, or maybe... Uh, you know, minimalist living. <laughs> You're connecting it to your TV, whatever. So you can just put it, plug, and then like place it on the on the deck, so you don't have to worry about charge anymore. And then. Now, people who like to travel, mm -hmm. if you're driving to, example, Mombasa, which mm -hmm. is around six to seven hours, mm -hmm. if you're driving, yes. you don't have to worry about charge because it lasts to, uh, the battery life is around seven to ten to ten hours on on average on average volume. Okay. Around 50 to 70 percent of volume. Um, I, I've been hearing about this also another story mm -hmm. that I think we were discussing uh, before we came on uh -huh. to, on to mm -hmm. set. You were talking about a smart mirror, I think. Yes. Oh, my God. Goodness. So when I'm thinking about mirrors, I think about the ladies, you know, 
women and yes. makeup yes, and, and everything. how they can dress and look nice. Yes. Yeah. Now I can tell you for a fact that you can actually shop through Amira. I how amazing is that? That's great. Yeah. So there's this higher smart, higher smart mirror. Yeah. So what it does, you know, it's uh, you can connect it, you can charge it, or you can connect it, and then it has like e-commerce uh, in you know in it. And so you can order. In yes, embedded in it. So what you can, what you do is you can have your closets. First of all, it has you. It gives you two things, right? Okay. So it, it comes with a, it, it comes with a camera. Yeah. So it scans your body, you know, at its best to you know get uh, the capture of your body of how it looks and everything yeah, so yeah. when you're looking for an outfit you can just take the outfit mm, place it on the on the on the on the mirror and then it's like gives you an image of how you would look like and then if it's in your house what you can and you you want to you know shop maybe example elsewhere kiki is your favorite store right mm. so you can go probably um on you can go online you click on the mirror and then you know like different outfits and then like it chooses for you and then you just proceed to cut and order and it's, it gets to you at the comfort of your house wow <laughs> um I, I i i can imagine like um me using type that type of technology it feels like i'm in the future you know some futuristic stuff yes. because you see movies where people are <laughs> using panels to like move their move whatever they need on the screen and then and i'm hearing that now is happening you know yeah, yeah. in the future right it's now. like we're living in 19 in 2060 <laughs> 60 right now yeah, yeah the yeah. other mirror um is, is also a smart mirror you know what i'm about to do mm -hmm. those our people who are watching if you can just you know tell us what the name of the mirror is i will have you know give you like something something very nice just uh text us on our youtube page comment on what the name of this mirror that i'm about to do to talk about so it's a mirror it's a workout mirror okay so this workout mirror what it does it's it's slick it's not very heavy but it's slick so what it does it comes with a pre-installed workout system right that are available on demand or you can uh, choose to follow like a plat uh, a certain schedule so you wake up and then you see it's the coolest thing about it is of course you can co yeah. you you control it through an app yeah. on the phone so you set up you know if you want to do cardio okay. so you choose cardio yeah, example yeah, yeah. um i love working out uh, using tiffany tiffany roth's videos wow. so example wow. you, you can just go to ex things uh, similar to tiffany roth whichever is available on the uh, on the on the app on the phone you just click on it and then you, guess what happens what happens <laughs> you see a trainer on your mirror like can you imagine literally there. it's like a ghost what yeah how does that work <laughs> so it just when you click on it when you choose a different workout system workout plans it pops up on your on, on your mirror and then you can see so the benefit of that is also you know to like when you're working out to because it's a mirror so it, you you see the reflection mirror, whatever is yes happening. So, but also the trainers do not overdo so you can have like a, a certain segment of the mirror with the trainer and everything and then it speaks to so if it's a live session it speaks to you so you do the thing you know like with breaks and everything which is which is really really cool yeah, it is. and yeah and also it comes with with a with a heart rate monitor yeah. when you buy the mirror it comes with a heart rate monitor so after the workout every time you work out it gives you like a summary you know how many cal calories you've burned uh your heart rate and everything so yeah i mean it's something nowadays because no one wants to go to the gym anymore no no one does want to you know we're stuck because of covid and yeah we'll just have to wait when it finishes you know yeah yeah <laughs> so um on top of that like um dealing with e-commerce mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, uh cio africa um, I heard you mention something to do with the merchandise that is about to come out. Yes, if you haven't gotten yourself uh, something, you know, a mug, a jacket, you have like puff jacket, you have t-shirts, please go to our website www.cioafrica.co You will go under the, the shop page, you'll see t-shirts, everything that is branded. I mean, why not? Work with the brand, CIO Africa brand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, your birthday is coming up next week. My birthday is coming and I was thinking, on Monday. Uh, yes, now on you Monday. have the options. You know, uh, I have a couple talk of, of things. <laughs> a couple of things that I could get you. I, yeah. I, I didn't even know. You're telling me like I heard about it today morning. Uh -huh. uh, basically, um, what would you think about an Oppo phone if I was to get an Oppo phone? Because what is happening mm -hmm. right now, Oppo and OnePlus are merging together. Mm -hmm. So just imagine the type of phones that they're going to make. They just released a video on Weibo and uh, the video is just basically showing the different phones that they have feature they have done and uh, after that um, they are going to merge together and make really good phones collaboration between uh oppo and, and oneplus, OnePlus. 
Hmm. Amazing. I think people should, you know, plug in next time on our episode. We will definitely talk about that. I'll, I'll tell you guys if he, he was laughing or he got me that. <laughs> Whatever the, the Oppo and, and, and OnePlus are watching on. <laughs> See you next time. Catch us on the next episode.